let's get into the, the big topic of open source. Something that we actually say right now. This is so we awesome. We are an open culture that it is actually an open source. So it's that process yeah. that a developer, or let's say, as the Kubernetes ecosystem really boomed. All right, and we are live. Welcome, everyone, to another exciting episode of GetOps Guide to the Galaxy. I'll be your captain here. Um, Christian Hernandez, Technical Marketing here at Red Hat. Um, and with me, I have a special co-captain today here with me. I'm very, very excited uh, to have Hannah here from CodeFresh. Hannah, have, uh, have your, your um, introduce yourself, give, give so like the usual spiel, right? Like, uh, you know, where, where we can like and subscribe, you know, what you're doing at CodeFresh, your title, all that cool stuff. <laughs> Thanks. Um, yeah, I'm Hannah Selickson, and I'm a developer advocate over at CodeFresh. Um, CodeFresh is essentially a continuous continuous delivery platform, um, and we're all about Argo and GitOps, so I'm really excited to be here. Um, but before being a DA, I was actually a .NET developer for a really long time. Oh, wow. Um, so yeah. GitOps <laughs> is like, you know, when I think of ways that we could have improved our processes when I was a developer, I'm like, Oh, geez. Okay. Um, but, but yeah, so that's, that's essentially my, a little bit about me, but um, I'm excited to talk about Argo CD autopilot with you guys, do a demo and talk about all things GitOps. So, yeah. Wow. So like, yeah, so .NET, so I, that's a big pivot, <laughs> right? I'm telling you right now, that's a big pivot, right? You're, you yep. are, you know, going yep. from .NET, for those who don't know .NET, right? Like you're talking about like a monolith, like yeah. on a single server yep. and then, and like, I can't oh, yeah. imagine you like being dumped in this world now where it's like, all right, we're, I'm going to do GitOps. And it's like, whoa, this is completely different. Yep, it I've is. Seen. It is. Yeah. yeah. So it's what, but I'm excited and I feel like, so admittedly, a lot of the things I like to talk about are beginner stuff, but mm -hmm. you know, there's always room for that. And yeah, I just, it's so funny because now everything that I get to work on, I'm like, oh, I got to tell like my friends who are still stuck in yeah. you know, like, .NET and typing in C Sharp, like, Let's here. Let's let's talk about this. Let's talk about infrastructure. And they're like, "What's Kubernetes?" So yeah, it's but yeah, it's yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, there's there's a, there's this thing where it's like, when do you stop doing in, um, like kind of like beginner stuff? And it's like you never really do because it's like not mm -hmm. everyone knows what True. what you're doing. Yeah. So it's um it's really cool. So so yeah. So excited to have you here. Uh, excited to talk about autopilot, right? Which is like a, a project <laughs> of of. Um, yeah, ti Tiger. <laughs> Tiger says yes. What is Kubernetes? Um, so, uh, Tiger, the intern, You're, you'll always be the intern to me. Um, so, just a few things, real quick, kind of um, top of mind um, topics here, kind of like what Andrew does. Um, Argo CD version two point three is um, it's out. So, um, uh, so two point three is out. Uh, big release, by the way, because it includes application sets and Argo CD uh, notifications, right? Um, and so, um, which is kind of cool, like it, they included that part of the product because like I, I use them both a lot as part of Argo CD. Like I don't have, no longer have to like start loading things in. Um, I'm gonna do um, an episode maybe one day on Argo notifications because it's actually a really cool project. Um, so I've been playing with that and it's really cool. Um, so check that out. Actually, let me put let me put that link. I had I had the link up yeah. and I closed it without sharing it, um, which was kind of weird for me. But um, <laughs> <laughs> let me put that in the chat for you guys to check out the blog. Um, you know, talking about Argo CD uh, version two point three. Can you read all about it? Um, KubeCon schedule is out, which is really exciting. Hannah, I don't know about you, but my talk didn't get accepted. Um, mm -hmm. No, yeah, it's very few. No. I, like, <laughs> unfortunately, womp womp. not right. Now. Well, I think I think we're in good company, right? Because a lot of people's talks hasn't uh, didn't get accepted. It's true. Um, yeah, yeah. It's it's always it's, it's a hard right. It's it's a hard thing. It is. Um. So um. But I'll still be there, right? I'll still be at, mm -hmm. at KubeCon in uh, EU. Um. And so the um um let me drop. The, where's the KubeCon schedule? Yeah. Oh, I already did. All right, cool. I'm like, did I, just, did I drop that in the chat? Yes, I did. So, um, um, so yeah. So, um, I'll be there. So, for those for those who will be there, you can wave me down. I'll be at GitOps Con as well. Um, so that's that's all. Um, um, 
felt cool. Um, you know, if, if you're going to be at GitOps, if you're going to be at KubeCon, I, I, I'll, I'll tell you everyone, right? Like you need to be at GitOps Con as well, right? So yeah. if I see a KubeCon, but if I didn't see you at GitOps Con, I'm going to have a conversation with you. Um, and so that's where we actually <laughs> met. We met at GitOps Con. That's right. We did. We met mm -hmm. at GitOps Con here. Um, yeah. I, I, I point here because that's where the convention center is here in Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah. I live here in Los Angeles. So um, yes, yeah. So, and this is actually where I got that shirt. Uh, yep. Oh, yeah. Right. We were almost twins. Almost. Yeah. Almost <laughs> twins. So, um, so yeah. So, um, be there. Maybe you'll get another shirt. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. There's shirts, shirts galore. Dan still owes me a hoodie, by the way. I, I don't know Does it? Okay. Know. Okay. Those he's are still, nice hoodies. Me. I should have yeah, worn it. It's just yeah, warm, I'm gonna tell you. but yeah. If he's watching, you still, you still owe me a hoodie. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so, uh, so yeah, so, um, the, the schedule is out. So go ahead and check that out. Um, the schedule is out. So see, see what you can see, what you can't see. We're still working on the GitOps con schedule. So that will, um, you know, I'm part of part of the programming committee there. We're almost done. You'll, that'll, that'll be out pretty soon. And so, um, take a look for that. So, um, yeah. So anyways, um, oh, uh, yeah. Well, lead, he says there's the, the, the rejects um conference i hope i hope they're doing that again right that's always really cool to go see like hey i want to be part of the losers that's that's really cool um but there's a community uh, for everybody yeah that's right exactly there's, there's, a there's a community for everyone right i mean if, yeah. if it's we'll, we'll be in good company at least right like yeah yeah oh yeah um, for sure and so so yeah so um yeah without further ado um Let's talk about uh, Argo uh, Argo City Autopilot, right? And so, let's let's uh, let's let's dive right in, right? Let's okay. um, and for and for those who are um, who are in the chat, feel free to drop questions in the chat, um, and also just like always, like, subscribe, share, all that cool stuff. So, cool. so Hannah, talk about Argo City Autopilot. You got it. Um, so Argo City Autopilot, it's still a fairly new project. It's part of the Argo project, Argo Labs. Um, so if you actually head on over to, if you if you just look at their GitHub, you can actually access that. Um, and what I'm going to be doing today is telling you a little bit about Argo CD Autopilot, but I'm also going to be doing um, a live demo as far as how to use it. And I'm going to be showcasing you how to use multiple clusters, how to use, you know, how to create an application, have multiple environments, and then we're actually going to make a small change and promote that change from staging to production and show you what that looks like. Um, so I guess just to start off a little bit about Argo CD Autopilot, um, I like to call it like the the Kickstarter for, um, you know, GitOps deployments because, like I said, being a, a prior .NET dev, I think whenever it comes to like changing a deployment process, it's pretty intimidating. It's a little daunting. Um, and so I think that's why our, our Autopilot is so helpful. It was actually, believe it or not, it was actually developed by the CodeFresh engineer team, um, engineering team. They they were the ones who started this idea. Um, and what it is, is it's essentially a bootstrap that creates a directory and its structure so that you can actually manage all of your Argo CD applications using GitOps, so starting from your repository. And it just gives you a really simple pattern on how to like make updates to your application, how to promote change changes. Um, and it, it just makes life a little bit easier when you're managing multiple environments with multiple clusters. Um, yeah, I imagine like coming from, um, coming from .NET, right? Mm -hmm. You like, it's like, Hey, we have something better. Instead of touching one things, you get to touch a hundred things. And you're like, how is that even better? Like how, <laughs> how, how yeah. is, you know, how is managing deployments that way better? So, um, so that's why there's like projects like autopilot to kind of help ease, you know, not have to know, you know, all the little bits and pieces that you need to touch. Yeah. Cause I think GitOps as a, as a, just a whole sometimes seems more intimidating than it really is. Um, and so for me, I think GitOps, it's, and I'm, you know, I'm not going to ex explain too much about what it is. Cause I feel like if you're here, you probably have a good idea of what GitOps yeah. is, but, uh, but yeah, but for those who don't and are just like, want to get it, want to start deploying using Argo CD um, and then are managing, like I said, 
multiple environments with different clusters, this is a good solution. Um, so I'm going to start sharing my screen and I'm going to just kind of walk you through a basic install with the bootstrap. We're going to create um, an application. I'm going to create two Argo instances, one for staging and one for production. Um, and then what's cool is I'm actually going to be using an OpenShift cluster for our production environment. Um, so Christian, help me which, out with that. Yeah. Which oh, we and, like here. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know. So, um, so yeah, so I'm excited to, to show you guys that. And now we'll just kind of dive into my terminal. Um, and then those of you who, like I mentioned before, um, Argo CD Autopilot is part of the Argo Proj Labs. Um, it's got a very simple overview as far as installing the CLI. Um, and then once you get the CLI installed, what your first step will be is the way that Autopilot speaks to your repository is you're going to get a personal access token from your GitHub account. So you simply just go to your GitHub account, go to your settings, developer settings, and then you essentially are just going to export that token. Um, and then, so I've already done that. And then what you're also going to do is, what's interesting about Autopilot as well, you have the option to use an existing application that already exists within your GitHub repository, but it'll also actually create, create one for you, but the only catch is it's just private. Um, but it's nice that it, it kind of just takes at least that stress away from you as well. So if you're just getting started, it's pretty simple. Okay, so I've already, like I said, exported my token. Um, I also exported this repo. And now we're going to actually go straight into this bootstrap. Oh, gosh. Sorry. Everything got really big before we got on, so. Yeah, it's no worries. <laughs> there you go. All right. And so I'm already on my OpenShift cluster. And so as you can see, it's actually newing up Argo CD. Um, and it's something I wanted to show you guys while this is doing that. Um, within the project itself, it has these two resources, right? Because I saw someone had even asked a question before, like, well, do I have the choice with Argo CD or Autopilot? Argo CD is incorporated into Autopilot. So you're actually able to install Argo CD from your Git repository. Um, so it has these two resources, which, like I said, it's installing Argo CD, and it's also installing application sets. So that's that was really cool to me, because I was like, how is it doing this? OK, yeah. we're, <laughs> I, it's, it's bootstrap. Yeah. Um, so there. So we're still going to wait for this while it's still going. But just to kind of give you a little overview of what it is, it's creating my namespace. Um, it's, it's referencing this repository. Um, and it's just installing, it's installing essentially the application and, or the project and the directory structure. So we'll look at that. Hopefully that'll, that'll happen soon. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> right. Bootstrap application. So this is, um, this is, um, essentially kind of takes the guesswork out of how to get started. Right. So mm -hmm. like for those who are always, um, there's people always asking me how to get started with like Argo CD and it's really the, um, um, autopilot is like a really good way to kind of just like, just get started and like, just get everything that you need. Um, all, you know, all in one place. Mm -hmm. so that's pretty exactly. Cool. So what we can do now is what it does is it actually, it provides a port forward command and then a password. So now we can access the Argo CD UI. So I'm going to do that right now. Oops. Oh, so Daniel's on. By the way, for those who don't know, Daniel is from Acuity, so another Argo, big Argo user. Um, he's he's on the so he's waving. I'm waving back. Hello, Daniel. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Cool, cool. Uh oh, I think because okay, let's see. I think because I'm. Hmm. 
Mm, let's see. I'm gonna move. Is it not forwarding the port? Yeah, um, error from server. Hmm. Well, I just didn't want to do it in this terminal. Hmm. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, I wonder if you're not logged in in the other session, maybe? Yeah, essentially. Here, let me... Sorry about that, guys. Oh, no worries. They, they, everyone here loves a good debugging. <laughs> <laughs> right? Everyone here loves, it loves, loves, like, a, loves a good... I knew yeah. it would be some hiccup. So admittedly, guys, thanks. Yeah. I, this is my first live demo that I've ever yeah. done. So it's it's essentially, it doesn't surprise me that I'm like, oh, oh no. OK, great. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, look, looks uh, Gnome, Gnome Gal said maybe yeah, your no. current context. Yeah, maybe. I was going to say, it looks like a code fresh person. Maybe your, it, yeah. uh, your current context in the new terminal is different than Kate's cluster than the one you installed on. Maybe. Correct. He's, yeah. he's right. Gnome, you're right. Thanks, Gnome. <laughs> Uh, but let's see. So this is my so this is my OpenShift cluster. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. Live stream. So Tiger says live stream driven deployment. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Yeah, right. right? Like, you feel yeah. you're like you're sweating right now. Like no, it's it's fine. We're. I know. All. That context needs to change so you can port forward. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there you go. You got it. I think so. Crossing fingers. I know. <laughs> okay. Let me see here, uh, Walid. Yeah, oh, Walid is talking about uh, the flamingo, which is I, I would I would I would want to get um, I'm going to butcher this name. Oops. Chen, Chen Wit Chen Wit on actually on a on a stream. I I, I want to I want to hear more about that, um, which is a flux <laughs> subsystem for Argo, which is gonna which is kind of um, um, I think first of its kind. So that that'd be that'd be cool to have him. I'll yeah. I'll reach out to him. Oh, here we go. You got it. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe. Fresh. There we go. Oh, that's what we want to see. <laughs> All, All right. right. So I'm going to put in my admin as my username. And then it already provides me my password in plain text. So I'll go over here. All righty. Oh, look at that. You already have yeah. stuff going on. Yeah. So essentially, this is, this is what's so cool, I think, about autopilot is that it really does just take a lot of the work out from you. I don't know. I feel like if anybody has ever gone through the Argo CD getting started guide and you're a newbie, right? <laughs> Sometimes it can it can be a little confusing or you're just not sure how how to get started. And I just think it really is just such a good foundation and a base for people who want to get want who want to start deploying using GitOps. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel. Yeah, and I, I also so like that's like good, good and bad, right? So it's mm -hmm. it's it's bad because it's like when you are um, trying to uh, trying to get started, it could be a little frustrating. But it's but it's like kind of like the design of kind of Argo in in a way, right? Because like it's mm -hmm. like like that's how like it's like um, you 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 and I were laughing about like the quote I did for like Argo CD is oh, kind of yeah. like, kind of purposely dumb like but i mean like in a good way it's like it's in purposely dumb yeah it's just like it it's you know like how do i do this well you're going to have to build it how are you going to do this well you're going to have to build it it's so yeah. um which is why projects like this exist right like so Aut autopilot tries to tries to um, help you along your way yep exactly um so now what we're going to do we're going to actually create a argo cd project for our production um and so what what a project is, it's you can think of it essentially as an environment. Um, so what we're going to do is we're now creating this prod environment. And this is going to be our instance of Argo CD that will essentially be like a default a default destination. Um, and you'll be able to see this in action once we actually get to uh, the staging part. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install an application to prod let's go back 
over here. And let me know if here I'm, things are so big, so I apologize. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so what we're doing here in this command is we're creating a, an application. Um, I'm actually going to reference the example that they have within the autopilot project. And then I'm assigning it as prod. Um, so we're just specifying that for this. Okay. That's pretty cool. It's yeah. Just <laughs> you just hit enter and it did it. Nice. Yeah. And what's also really cool about it is that by just by us specifying this as prod, it we're essentially it's we're specifying our repo and where our application manifests are as well um, by pointing it to our GitHub and like I had mentioned that demo app from the Argo project that you can use and spin up just to get familiar with this. Um, and then also what we're going to do next and oh I should note within this repository I'll I'll show you that in a minute. Um, it has already a manifest and it's using customize. Um, so if you're not familiar with customize, it's it's similar to Helm. Um, it's got a little bit more flexibility and it essentially provides a base and an overlay. And that's actually how we'll be making our changes across the different environments. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create a Argo instance for staging. So. Yeah, I'd be curious to see that, that that repo when you show it in a little bit because mm -hmm. um, that's that's really awesome. It takes a lot of the guesswork on trying to like create bases and overlays for your environment. It's right. just like if if this tool just did it for me, fantastic, <laughs> right? Like yeah. the less less, yeah. less thing I have to think about. It's like no, it just did, does it for me because it could get kind of confusing trying to. No, it um, can. It set can. Up your bases and, and your overlays. Yeah, and I remember I actually um, I actually oh hold on. Let's see, I'm gonna delete. Sorry about that. Yeah, control C, control C. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so something I wanted to mention um, with customize especially, it's, I think, so with autopilot, right now it supports manifests for customize and just plain manifests. I think in the future, they are hoping to also support Helm templates, so Helm charts. Um, and I don't, I think there's currently an issue for that within the project itself. So if someone is eager to contribute to that, or it also is like, hey, like, yeah, I'm a Helm user, I want to use this, you know, what can I do to help out? I, I'm sure the engineers would love that. Um, and so also, so what, now that we're starting for staging, the reason I canceled that was because it was like, oh crap, like I don't wanna put this on my production cluster. We wanna use a staging cluster. So I've just kind of mewed up just a plain Kubernetes cluster, nothing really fancy to it. Um, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paste that command that I had before and we're gonna create the staging project. And something to note about this, oh, whoops. Ah, I keep doing this. I apologize. You can tell that I was testing this and yeah. <laughs> I was not specifying specific things. Um, but something that is really cool about this ability is that I'm actually able to include a port forward. So it's going to forward to the same namespace as Argo CD so that I can actually use the cube context for the staging cluster and the port forward command basically mm -hmm. tells that cluster how to connect and deploy. So let's see, so we're gonna use a, just a Docker desktop. All right. So like I mentioned. Oh, okay, the CD. there it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoops. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Get token repo not set. Oh, hmm. This is, hmm. It's another context issue. Let's see. Um, hmm. CTL context. Let's see if anyone can help us out here. Like, if, if, you, if anyone can do that from memory, <laughs> I'm always impressed, right? I always have to type it out myself. <laughs> <laughs> it what is it current i think it's yeah, yeah context i always have to tab through it 
Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. Current context, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, config current context. Yeah, That's Docker insane. desktop. But I wonder, Christian, you might be actually mm -hmm. able to answer this question for me. So when I was using an OpenShift cluster, um, yeah. I noticed that when I wasn't able, and, and I want to preface this, I am s still a newbie. So yeah. using a terminal is still new to me. Um, but I guess I'm curious with this OpenShift cluster, mm -hmm. um, I'm able to access it locally. But I am having a trouble. I'm having trouble within the same terminal accessing my other contexts. Um, and so, because when I try to, when I, for example, in here, kubectl or kubectl config contexts, I'm only able to view my OpenShift. But I do, in fact, obviously uh, have other. Yeah. yeah. I, I wonder if you do an echo of um, of dollar sign uh, cube config. I wonder if you're just using different cube config files. Maybe. Uh, capital capital cube oh, yeah. no, all caps. Yeah. Oh yeah, cube and then I think I think it's underscore. Uh, no underscore. It's just cube config. Okay. Without without the underscore. Gotcha. If you, if you echo that, what does that what does that give you? Uh, and I would do that in each terminal and see if they're the same. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's your OpenShift. Yeah. That's the one that's using, and I yep. bet you the other one is using another file. Yep. Okay. Um. Well, let's see. Um. I if could. Any, yeah. If if anyone, well, so like you could log in, I guess, to the. I was gonna say if anyone has a fancy JQ to merge these two files. Um, I'll I'll give you a I'll I'll give you a free T-shirt if you can figure that out. Um, but um, <laughs> I actually, but I can I can actually do this pretty quickly if um, you could do an OC login on on the Docker Desktop one. That's right. So true. there, if you just do an OC login of um, of whatever the you're gonna have to yeah. So like uh, you just need to change that API example. Yeah. Part. Let's see. Uh... If you go up to the the window above you, if you do an OC, mm -hmm. um, what was it, uh, OC status or OC, um, yeah, let's do status. It should tell you, yeah, that's the API right there. Okay. All right. Yeah, Tiger says I I just cat the file and. Uh, paste it into, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but that's not as cool. Yeah, that's not as cool, right? Like that's you gotta show your you gotta show your geek cred. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's funny. And then, oops. All right. And then you're gonna need your cube admin password somewhere. Somewhere. Give me one moment. Oh, interesting. What's if, if you if you wanna if you wanna try so Walid said that you can specify different cube config files. Oh. If you yeah, if you export I never tried that. That is I haven't either. That's a good idea though. Um if that works, then you get a t shirt, Walid. That's good to hear. <laughs> Although shipping to you, Walid, is very expensive. Just to let you know. <laughs> Where <laughs> he's he, he's yeah, uh, he's I think he's in Saudi Arabia, I believe. Uh, correct me when I'm wrong, Walid. I, I, but he, it's, it's. We, we try to send him. That would be that's uh, far. Socks, socks ones, and that was really expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Saudi Arabia. Uh, okay, so, yeah, if you can. Yes. Virtual T-shirt. He says virtual T-shirt. We got. I, I go. We'll, 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 uh, we'll figure out a virtual T-shirt. Then something some server, but any data. Okay, we're just doing a demo. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, yeah. Now, if you do um the uh. 
the context. Okay. Right? Like like a cube get con or whatever that. Yeah. Context, yeah. It should show it. There we go. Okay. There we go. Woo. Just, now you can woo. see all my clusters. So, Sorry, there's so a lot. Many clusters. Look at that. <laughs> I know. Don't judge me. This is, I was I was judged wow, by my my colleagues. It was so funny. There's like all so right. many clusters out there. There really are. Okay. So, <laughs> apologies. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Nope. And so now it's cube config use... set context, right? Or or use context. Yeah, you're right. Use. You're right. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Oh mm. my goodness! Thank you, everyone, for your help. Yeah, look at that. It's a it's a community. <laughs> like we. It really <laughs> is. I love it. We, we, yeah, we all did it. You know, we all uh, took apart. We really did. Okay. Now. Oops. And I was worried that this demo would be too short. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Apparently not. Okay. All right. Hmm. Okay. Well, hmm. Get token. Yeah. I have a feeling that, let's see. I need to export it, export gig or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. Real, uh, let's see. We all promise to close our eyes. Ready? All right, everyone. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I no, 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 no. You're doing it. You can take it off window. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's funny when a uh, gnome, one of our engineers, is giving me some tips. So I was oh, just looking. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. So it's. Uh... Let's see, add terminal. We need to do a two complete. Okay, I see. Okay. Well, I I'm tempted to. I don't want to start from scratch, and but uh, let's see if I could do this quickly. Okay, I'm gonna export my token. And we're going to export the repo. Yeah. Woohoo! All right. Part okay. Uh, well, Waleed, but Waleed, by the way, I'm I'm testing your your config out here in a separate window, so I want to <laughs> <laughs> I want to prove out his theory here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh no, I did it. I did get an error. Okay. Uh. Hmm. I cannot find pod with selector. That makes sense. Um. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. So. Hmm. I'm tempted to do this to start over. Um, yeah, you scorch, scorch the earth. Yeah. How, 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 do you, how do you do that? That's no. That's also a good, a good way to. <laughs> that's also a good thing to show, right? Like show users. Okay. Oh, well, let me start over. Like, how do you scorch? Yeah. The earth? Yeah. Um. I guess I can. I, I mean, I can now. I think I know what the problem is. Um, so if everybody would be okay with that, I can try and do yeah, this really quickly. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So I'm going to X out of this. And let's see. Let's go to my repository. Let's go refresh. Okay. So it did create the demo app. And what's nice about this is that, uh, like I mentioned, it has your app. Um, and then it also includes your base and your overlay. So we've only, as far as the instructions that I've shared with you, we've only created the overlay for prod. But once I am able to scratch this and start over again, you'll see both overlays for prod and staging. Um, and then we will, and then we'll make um, a change and promote that and we'll, we'll get it done. Um, so give me one second, I'm gonna delete this. 
or I could just create a new repository. Okay. Well, that's, I think that's one of the things I read about auto, um, autopilot. You can either create a new repository or just point to an existing one, right? It'll, mm -hmm. it, it'll take that. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see. Okay. I am going to use the, hmm. And of course, let's see, let's make this a little bit smaller just so I can be quick. Um, okay. Okay. Use context. Okay. Let's see if you can... Yeah, someone said, uh, by the way, it works. His export thing works, which I thought was crazy. Today, I, le I learned something today, so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's always it's a two-way street here right in this, in this it in this is stream, right? i know is, I, I learned something and i think it's really cool and when we get off i'm gonna um tell everyone on the slack channel here at red hat i'm like look did you guys know this I know. i'm gonna look i'm gonna look like a dork anyways um <laughs> <laughs> and also yes uh Wally earned an nft virtual t-shirt so um well I'll, I'll try to get it to you somehow um I'm work, we're red hat we're working on, on, on actually some cool t-shirts for for kubecon so i i won't forget about you Wally. I uh man of my word. All right. So and then let's see. Um Okay. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to delete my namespace um, Argo CD from the OpenShift cluster. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start over again and go through the same steps I already went with, went through with all of you. And then now that I've got, this is a, I was actually a little worried about this terminal problem. I was like, mm, I, don't, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, but, uh, but to say the least, um, I think we'll be able to, to get something up and running before, before this session ends. So um, if I'm quiet for a second, I apologize. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, you got to see figure things out. <laughs> I almost, I should have done a recording. I almost did that last night just to be safe. And I was like, no, it'll be fine. You'll make yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, um, um, back before, you know, back when we used to travel, back pre-COVID, um, <laughs> that was like one of the things that we would always tell each other, right? Like for those who are presenting is like, Make sure you have a recording before, so because also internet access. I don't know if you, it, it, everyone there remembers internet access for conferences, absolutely terrible. So, um, <laughs> okay. I feel like Christian, you're never gonna invite me on here again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, oh geez, I'm like great, great oh, first no, impression. No, no, it, it's, no, it's it's fine. Actually, I I, I embrace breakage, um, be, because a lot of the times. So 
for and, and this is like feedback that i've heard like over the years is like a lot of the times like they um end users people who are consuming like content they're always like it always seems so perfect in the demo but like when i try to do something things are always breaking and yeah. like it kind of um i got in the feedback before it's like it kind of makes me feel like i'm dumb and it's like no like no. We, we're we're dumb off camera a lot of times <laughs> <laughs> and so which is why i like i like this format on, on twitch streaming it's like i i want to i don't mind being dumb on camera like I, I i've broken stuff many times i've actually done multiple streams until i get it right um yeah so it's um it's it's uh it's which is why i like like the twitch format right it's like you know fine let's let's show all the ugly parts uh, <laughs> it, it makes people feel like okay like maybe you know, maybe, you know, not getting it right away is all right. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And I, I think for me, I, I get a little bit of stage fright because I'm like, oh, it has to be perfect. But uh, ultimately, yeah, no. yeah <laughs> it's, it never it never really is. And it that's never okay. is. Yeah. And then that's OK. Yeah. Like I, I, I rarely get things right the first time. Right. We shouldn't yeah. make it seem, you know, which is why I'm like very anti webinar. It's like because webinar is always like you did mention perfect. that. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's perfect. It's like, well. Maybe not not all the time. People like mm -hmm. people like seeing humanity, right? It's like of course. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Okay. So let's see. Mm -hmm. I am just finishing. Okay, there we go. Name space. Voila. Okay, great. We had a clean cluster. All right. um, okay, now I'm going to quickly try to start over and export the token again, and as well as the repository. Don't worry, I'll share my screen soon. <laughs> it's yeah well i mean yeah you're exporting tokens and all that that's also yeah. another worry that that that's, that's happened that's yeah. happened to me a few times where i was like well i gotta delete that token now i showed it everyone live and... i know <laughs> that's it's it, oh gosh it's, it's the worst yeah and the important security it's it's important yeah security is important right <laughs> yes that's absolutely true i remember e even so um i think everyone um I always tell this story, and I hope 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 he doesn't mind that I always tell this story. But everyone knows Stephen Augustus, right, uh, from the CNCF, uh, working at Cisco now. He was doing a stream on, um, uh, I guess at that point it was Heptio, um, TGIK, where he tried like the whole stream. He tried to like not show his token, and like he, at the very end, like he did something, and like it showed all his tokens. <laughs> Oh I no! <laughs> I messaged them privately. I'm like, oh well, now now you have to rotate all those. <laughs> Poor guy. So it happens to the best of us. Yes. It does. Okay. Are we? I think we're making progress. Cool. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let me make this bigger for you guys. Yeah, you'd make it a little bigger, maybe expand the screen maybe a little bit. Yeah. You got it. Oh, there we go. Really? Cool. You probably have one of those ultra white screens, I would imagine. I do. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, so it's probably smaller on your end. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably yeah. huge for you, but for us, it's it like, is. Yeah. It <laughs> is. Yeah. So, I'm like, you let me know. Okay, now let's do another port forward. Okay, we've got that. Beautiful. Okay, right, we're going to take forwarding. our password. Um, so I'm not showing you guys anything new. Oh, go on. Oh, wait. There we go. Beautiful. Admin as our username. And I'm going to paste the password from the terminal. I'm going to sign in. Okay. 
Okay. All right. So it's still doing its thing here. Still doing its thing. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Right. So yeah, so this this is interesting. So I have I have a question here, right? So yeah, have, please. Th there's this process here called root. What is what is what is what is root? root that's a good question. Um mm -hmm. let's click on this. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> um yeah. I know. I'm like, well, um root is essentially it it's your root application which i feel like is a given but um mm -hmm. i oh okay i see it has like an application uh application set in an app right. project oh okay so it's kind of like a um it manages all these little things right like mm -hmm. application set application project gotcha mm -hmm. and i think i'm hopefully let's see yeah, let's look at the errors. Yeah, if you want to check out the errors, we can check yeah. out the errors together. Yeah, let's we see. can do that. Demo app, Red Hat. Okay, created this. Just wanted to make sure. Make sure all okay. the good stuff's there. Yeah. Let's go back to our application dashboard. We are missing something. Hmm. Um, hmm. Yeah, what does the error say on root? What is... Um, um, I'm curious now. See. Now, now, now I'm invested. Now, like I'm all, I'm all. I in. know. Oh, it looks um, like it's waiting for some sort deletion of deletion error timeout. Hmm. It looks like it's waiting for some. Um, what do you call it? Uh, service to come up or something. Yeah. Waiting, yeah. Hmm. Running, syncing. Let's see. Yeah. Let's let's take a look at the. Is there any pods that are erroring out? Good question. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, so I have a question. Did you bootstrap the wrong context? No. Oh, okay. sorry. No, I did not. Okay. Um, okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. I see it right there. Default open. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Let's see. Keep it. Keep it. Take it. Running, okay, but we want to. Hmm. They do a dash A, right? Get or capital A, right? Get pause dash capital A. That, do, we, do we have any errors there? Hmm. It's waiting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> man i really want to get this working before oh yeah look at that oh i'm i'm rooting for you here oh, we go okay so you. we are all right there we go all right so that looks good everything's running yeah something. argo cd my application set my controller the server hmm Maybe it is the cluster resources. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, maybe it is an issue with that. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah. Let's bootstrap. See. So bootstraps uh, continue. So maybe bootstrap isn't finished. The, that application. Um. Hmm. I didn't get any errors when it was bootstrapping. Yeah, because it says it checks it, right? Like. Right. That, right. It, hmm. See, well, hmm. Name space. I wish, hmm. wish I had a solution off the top of my head. Um, hmm. Let's see if I do. Hmm. Not. Yeah, there was a warning at the end. Um, well, he said there was a warning at the end. So that's, was that? Oh, 
I think what happened was I installed autopilot while the previous installation was still being deleted. Ah, finalizers yep. always. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I thought I deleted those. Oh no. Yeah, I think we've actually had a discussion about finalizers. Yeah. All okay. of this. Finalizers always. Uh, for those who don't know, we all we all hate finalizers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they're, I mean, they're good for what they do, but when they get in the way, it's it's really right. tough to get around. Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. Um. Okay. Well. Well, so, well. Now this means now we have to have you come on again. <laughs> I, know. I mean, now that's just, I think this was your plan the whole time. It's like, how can I get back on again? Let me, let me. <laughs> well, now I'm determined. Everybody who attended, yeah. I'm sorry if I wasted time, but like no, now that's... I just want to create a video and be like, okay, this is how it yeah. should be. Like, this, this is, is what's how supposed to happen. Be, yeah. yeah. Cause, oh my goodness. Um, yeah. And so, so yeah, uh, I definitely, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, no worries. Um, <laughs> No, no worries. And, and, um, and you did want to talk about a few things, right? Oh, we so, did. I did. Yeah. Um, so I, I do want to, you know, I don't want to push yeah. you in any direction, but I just no, want to no, give no, you no, no. warning I that like, I uh, give you your time. Right. So, yeah. I'm like, you guys have already sat here, you know, waiting for me to troubleshoot. I won't make you do it again. Um, but something that I did want to mention is, um, the open source team at CodeFresh, we've launched a GitOps fundamentals course. So if you're joining us and you're like, I don't even know what you're talking about, like I don't even know where to begin. Um, it's This is a course that's free. Um, you can sign up for it and you also can receive a certificate for completion. Um, but it really does highlight essentially just the basics with GitOps, and it also provides a really nice introduction to Argo CD. Um, so I, if you haven't tried this yet, I definitely suggest it. And I also wanted to share that right now our team, we're currently working on a second course, and this is going to be a little bit more of like an intermediate level. Um, so it's going to be a step above just the basics, and we're hoping to include things that are applied to scalability is such as like Git repository creation strategies, um, promoting releases across environments, um, advanced declarative setups and app sets, um, apps of apps. Um, and I think Argo workflows, cause I think there's a huge, That's really cool. yeah, a huge need for that. And um, even myself, I've, I've definitely taken some courses on workflows and um, I try to work with it as much as I can, but there's still a lot I don't know. And I think there's a lot that people want to learn more about. So I'm excited to to share that with everybody. And we're hoping to have that probably within Q2. And if for anybody who's not like familiar with quarters, probably within the next couple months. Um, so so I'm, I'm really excited about that because that's fully created by the CodeFresh team and we just essentially want to give back to the community and we want to just help everybody get on board when it comes to GitOps and especially with Argo um, because it really can just make your entire, whether you're using it for, like I said, your workflows um, or your deployments, I think it can really benefit you and your organization. So, um, yeah. so yeah. And also just any kind of project you're working on on the side. I think it's, it's fun to learn. So, so yeah. Which is really cool. So uh, I, so first and foremost, Walid said plus one for the course, gone through it. It's fantastic. I agree. I I I I I told Hannah, um, I slacked her. I told I told her this is a fantastic course. Everyone actually, some of the um, some of the new engineers that we hired for OpenShift GitOps, um, which is a you know we use Argo CD on the back end, they said like, oh, this course is amazing. So like, it's it's really great uh, to uh, like a getting started course. Is it still free? So Dan has always threatened that it won't always be free <laughs> so so it's still free okay so yes yes <laughs> get, get on get on it before dan changes his mind he keeps threatening that it's not going to be free for long yeah. so and register yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so please yeah definitely register and also just like if you want um i'm on the cncf slack uh you can find me under hannah selickson or you can tweet at me tech with hannah um, because I'm always want to look like I always want to know what you guys want to learn. Um, I always want to know where is there like a gap? Um, what can we contribute? What can we help with? Um, so yeah, just just feel free to ping me. Yeah, yeah, and the and also, I'm always on the on, on the same boat, right? It's like 
you know, we build these things, right? Like we yeah. as advocates, we as, you know, as um, experienced engineers, like we, we hope you like it, but we want, we want, we love that feedback, right? I, mm -hmm. I don't know about you, Hannah. I love the feedback, good, bad, yeah. ugly, all, yeah. all, all of it. We just give it all of it because we, it, you know, ultimately we just want to build, build for you guys. So, yeah. um, so definitely check that out. Check out the, um, uh, the certifications, right? We, we dropped the, uh, the, the link in chat, um, reach out to us, you know, any one of us, right? Anyone at CodeFresh, uh, myself, I can give you the link directly. Um, yes, yes, Dan said my shirt is, is awesome. Because yes, because yeah, you're, this is the one you guys you guys gave me. So I do, I, I am, yep. I am to topical here with um, with, with this t-shirt. So cool, yeah. cool. So yeah. um, anything else? Anything else you want to cover? You no, to no, about? thank you. And I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't get it working for you guys, but I will, like, please hold me to that because I would like to share this with you and just, you know, just, just get it working. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So then that, yeah. this means, it means that you have to come back on and next time maybe we'll, maybe we'll coordinate. With yes. Uh, we will so. be matching twins. <laughs> we will be match, matching twins. Cool. Cool. So, yeah. um, so yeah. So th thank you everyone for joining. Thank um, you. you think, thank you. Thank you all for joining. Remember, um, I'll, I'll be at KubeCon. Um, so Hannah may or may not, um, so we'll we might, we'll see. Right. Um, and so, so yeah. So, um, next time duh, 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 I, I, I'm actually taking some PTO. So, uh, there, so it, it'll be a little bit before we come back on, but I, I have some cool guests, uh, lined up and some cool hacking sessions with like Argo events, Argo image updaters. Um, so we'll be back in April um april 7th so um so yeah so um i guess yeah with that everyone um stay safe out there and as i always say if it's not in git it's only a rumor so bye everyone cheers <laughs>